depression that 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 all goes back to the psychology of instant gratification and and we're so addicted to dopamine right likes on instagram yeah, yeah. so when we're not getting we're, we're so addicted we're getting it all the time it's like if you drink coffee all day long go one day without drinking coffee and you're drained oh my god it's hard to move right because yeah. we're you're so addicted to caffeine same thing with dopamine and everything. We're so addicted to like, oh my God, cool videos, cat videos, YouTube, blah, blah, podcast, whatever. So whenever you're not getting, when that no longer produces dopamine, it's really easy for these kids to go into depression. How do they deal with that when they don't have the family aspect of somebody listening to them, right? If when they're having one of those days where they just can't get it, all they hear is their mom or dad telling them like, you're playing video games again? Oh my God, like, you know, just pretty much bitching at them. I don't got Excuse anything me, else to do. So, yeah. yeah. So, so they, they, we, I mean, we used to lash out some way, right? We just didn't do it that way. That that wasn't the thing, right? Yeah. We, 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 no, what was our no, thing? What was our yeah. fighting or something? Yeah, we we we, we used to fights in the schools happened a lot more when I grew up yeah. than they do now. Kids don't fight. Don't don't fist fight. You know, even even as a as a marine, as a drill instructor, I'd ask my recruits. You know, how many of you have you know have ever been have never been in a fist fight? The number of hands that go up was shocking. Oh. And that includes the fact that half the ones that aren't raising their hands is just because they're embarrassed, but really they're lying, right? Uh, the amount of, back in my day, I don't think there might have been more than pe the amount of people, kids in, in, in a graduating class, probably like this many kids in the whole class that never got in a fist fight growing up, right? Now it's a lot of them, right? They fight different. Uh, you know, they f fight on the internet and stuff. But so we lashed out, right? We go to the alley and smoke cigarettes. Remember, that was a big thing, steal cigarettes and go smoke cigarettes before you're 18. Kids these days... They have no interest in smoking cigarettes. It's a dumb, to them that's more. Yeah, they got to, the vape already. They're already at yeah, the well, vape. Right. Well, well now the, the vape is in, right? But before there was vape for a while, like it wasn't a teen thing to want to smoke. Like that was already dead because it it didn't it didn't make you cool. Nobody would talk about you. It didn't give you notoriety to be the kid that smokes cigarettes, right? And I think that's pretty pretty normal. Well, with these kids, like what is their like they'll be sorry. How can they when they feel like nobody cares about them and nobody gives a shit and even when they do tell them like I'm depressed. They're like, oh, shut up. Go wash the dishes, you know, or or whatever. Or, yeah, or they're or another thing that I've noticed too is that our kids are being put on medications at a very very young age Medicare. for depression, for uh, mental illnesses. A lot of them aren't even able to really comprehend their own actions yet, and they're being put on these medications that are really really kind of driving. I, I feel a lot driving towards the depression. Towards yes. they're like, oh, my doctor said I'm depressed, and I'm. These are sixth graders, yes. fifth, sixth, seventh graders yes. that are doing this. And it's like, I don't remember, I remember being, having depression and stuff as a kid and yeah. going through those things that you do and hormonal changes and stuff, but nothing like what you see now. Like you see where kids are just like, they have nothing. There's nothing, there's no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like yeah. just empty.